Hey everybody, this is Ray Jean. I play Sally on uh, the O-Line Mysteries. I'm also the executive producer. So I wanted to throw in a pitch for Lorna Tollison's book. It's called Nobody Really Likes You, and it's available at Amazon.com as well as any other uh, online book retailer. It's also available at Books, Inc. if you live in the San Francisco Bay Area. You should check it out. Billy Bat Productions presents The O-Line Mysteries. Lor... Uh, where are your clothes? Diane, I'm sorry to show up in my bathrobe, but I can totally explain. Shut the door behind you. Of course. Okay, where are your pants? I'm afraid of them. Mm-hmm. Let me get my notepad. No, wait, not the notepad. You know those little security tags that are sewn into clothing merchandise at stores? You see them in bookstores, too. Yeah, like, like little stickers, almost. Yes. Well, Annie uses them as tracking devices. Oh, Lorna, not again. Start from the beginning. You know those little... Stop. I need you to calm down. Do you see my new plant? It's a spider plant. I read about them on your blog. Oh, you did? It looks good. Okay, let's get your file folder. The one that has all your notes in it here. Do you want a glass of water? No. Now tell me, as succinctly as possible, why are you afraid of your pants? I think Annie has sewn in a tracking device that looks like those tags we talked about into everyone's clothing. Why do you think that? Because she told me, and she knows that I come here every week. I think we should destroy this folder. I'm really, really not supposed to be talking about any of this with you. Have I done anything to lose your trust so far? No, but that's not the point. You could eventually be called in to testify or something, and that's beyond your control. Okay, well, I'll make a deal with you. When we're finished here... However long this takes, then you and I together will destroy these files. And luckily for us, I have a terrible memory. Oh, you're good. Thank you. I like your toenail polish. Oh, thanks. Now, she knows you come here every week? Yeah, but she thinks I'm getting fertility treatments. From a therapist? I'm not that good. No, she doesn't know which doctor's office I go into. Oh, that's good, I guess. Anyway, Annie's gone a little off the deep end, but we figured out a way to extricate Sally from this mess and get the guy who killed her husband and shot me. Well, that's good news. Tell me about it. A couple of days ago, Annie and I dressed up as Mexican office cleaners and broke into the Hayward. See, we were in Tim's, like, future van. Plopped down in the middle of the San Francisco Bay sits Olone Island, with its quiet streets, Victorian homes, and well-behaved palm trees. A positively idyllic setting, teeming with mystery. You know, Sally, I think you may have a second career with this. Oh, my dear, dear Lorna, one good cassoulet doesn't make a career. No, I mean with the cooking. You could do a small restaurant and then go from there. Well, I appreciate the compliment. By the way, have you talked with Roberta lately? Not since the Albert fiasco. Hmm, she said she was going to call you. She needs some help, I think. Ugh, with her kids again? I love Roberta and all, but seriously, she and her husband have got to work out a better schedule. No, no, it's something else. Um, You know that apartment complex down the street? Apparently someone in there um, entertains. So? I mean, she, you know, entertains. For cash. So? For cash. So, she's a whore. There are worse things. I suppose. I suppose. But one of our clients is being blackmailed. Oh, and the thing is, it has to be handled on the down low. And she was wondering if you could help her. Ugh, that's so seedy. Yeah, well, the thing is, she showed me some pictures, and it looks like they were shot from across the street. But there's a church there. Ooh, ooh, are they being blackmailed by the church? She doesn't know. But there's more. The guy being blackmailed is in the local government, (laughs) or his wife is. Something like that. You'll have to talk to Roberta about it. Well, so much for moral high ground. I should start charging for my services to local law enforcement. You know, she really needs to keep this out of the department as much as possible. She mentioned maybe you bring Annie in on it as well. You should call her tomorrow. Okay. How about some weed? You're on. (laughs) 
Annie, can you grab this tray? Oh, sure. I didn't realize you grabbed the whole thing. It was easier than making two trips. So, are you going to call Roberta? Well, yeah. But first, I want to see how we can use this to our advantage. Oh, wow. I see you're not feeling very torn about lying to your wife anymore. What am I supposed to do? The means justify the ends here. Whether or not she's being forced into the intelligence service or not, it's up to me to keep her best interest at heart. Don't you think it's the right thing to do? I mean, obviously, she's doing it to protect me. Well, yeah, but aren't you feeling some cognitive dissonance? Well, it's it's frustrating and heartbreaking we've been put into this awful situation, but if it doesn't break us, it'll just make us stronger together. And you're not mad she lied about working for the CIA? Oh, no, I'm pissed about that, all right. And she's got some explaining to do, but there will be a time for that after we get out of all this. Coffee? Please? So how can we use yet another diversionary tactic by my beloved to our advantage? Well, one thing is for sure. We now know that Roberta is also aware of the situation, on some level. Yeah, that's true. I think you should call Roberta and just be whole hog on board about the whole thing. That'll make Sally and Michael think we're being their little puppets. Hmm, yeah. And I was thinking, Michael and Sally thought they were planting that fake satellite device at the Hayward, because they obviously thought it was someone from there that is behind all of this. Yet, what if we put it in the hands of someone we know for sure is directly involved in it? Who? What do you mean? Well, we know that Pierce is directly involved, and we know where his boat is. Why not just plant the fake on his boat? I can tell Michael that the real one that Tim left me has been stolen, and then the FBI can arrest Pierce. And in all the chaos that follows, I can get the real one to the person I'm supposed to give it to. Oh, my God. That makes sense. That way, Sally is completely left out of it, and the NSA will leave her alone. Oh, it's so simple. But, wait, that doesn't implicate Spectre Cheese. Look who, let's face it, is the root of all this in the first place. And that doesn't help get these corporate interests out of the intelligence either. Oh, you don't think a killer like Pierce isn't going to take down the whole house of cards with him? Hmm, that's true. That guy probably has something on all of them in one way or another. But how are we going to get onto his boat? I thought you said your little tracker tags only lasted about four days. We can't risk getting caught. The whole thing will be blown. Yeah, and he probably has little cameras all over that boat. We need a written invitation. A what? We need to figure out a way to let him steal it. You know, give him a sense of accomplishment. Ha! Yes! That's perfect! I know just what to do. Of course, look, you call Roberta and figure out what she wants us to do, and I'll get started on this. Where are you going? I need to get some stuff from Tim's van. You can stay here. I'll be back in about half an hour. Hey, I don't want to stay in your house alone. Last time I did that, Pierce shot me. Fine, then get out. Meet me back here when I get back. so long. Dude, you just pulled up. Look, I grabbed the handheld tracer. Okay. I need to get at least near his boat so I can throw down some of those tracker tags. And if he comes back to his boat, they'll pick up on this tracer and we'll know we're in business. How? He'll step on them and they'll stick to the bottom of his shoe. Every time he comes to the island, he always does a sweep of my house. Every single time we've known he was in town, my motion sensors went off when I was out. So this time I have to make sure he finds it. And it could have been your dog setting off those sensors. My dogs can't open doors. What do you think set them off, then? I have these sensors in every room, and they record when there is movement. Ugh, your paranoia astounds me. Just because I'm paranoid doesn't, doesn't mean, mean they're, they're not, not out, out to, to get, get me. me. Right. What'd Roberta say? We need to go down and meet her at the police station. Apparently, she has a plan. She was quite sure it would take both of us, by the way. Yeah, she's definitely in on it. But. Why don't I go down there, and you can go drop your little tags around Pierce's boat? It'll be dark by, like, four, and by the morning we'll know what's what. You'll have to make an excuse for me, though, to Roberta. I'll just tell her you had some work to catch up on, so you can take time to help her out. She can't argue with that. Hey, have you heard from Michael? Last time I talked with him, he said he was in Virginia, but I don't know. Well, be very careful, then. We just have to be super diligent. We can't blow this now. Sally's been acting extra normal the past few days, and that always means something's up. I'll call you in the morning after she leaves. Why don't you just come over for dinner and we can all act normal together? No, thanks. I might have to sleep in the van tonight. It makes me feel closer to Tim. Oh, that's so sad.
Yeah, I'm working through it, though. Well, uh, I mean... See you tomorrow. Annie, look. Do me a favor. Don't sleep in the van. Listen, I know you need to work through your grief, but we have to seriously act normal right now. We can't let on that anything is going down. No disappearing. Okay, you're right. Yeah. Okay, see you tomorrow then. This is bullshit. I know. How are we supposed to take pictures of someone taking pictures? That doesn't prove anything. And from this height, we're four stories up and the church is on the ground. I think we should just move down. Roberta said to use our own judgment. Oh, stop acting like this is real. Roberta's just trying to keep us occupied. You'd think she would have let us do it during the day, though. I know, it's freezing up here. Let's just move down. We can put ourselves in the carport. Come on, we'll take the fire escape. No one will see. I just wonder what Sally is up to if we have to be up on a roof on a cold night. Yeah, that shit better be important. Can you grab the tripod? Sure. Annie. Hey, your, your tracker, it's blinking. Oh my god, it worked. Pierce is on the island. What do we do? Nothing. Um, let me see. Okay, wait. Let me get... So, wait. He's about a mile away, I think. And moving closer. To us? Yes. Oh my god! So that's why Sally has us perched up on the roof in the middle of the... Well, the evening. Holy shit. Is he getting closer? Yeah, let's just stay up here. Hell no! I'm not gonna be stuck up here. I need room. What if we have to run or kill him? Lorna, no, it's safer up here. He won't look on a rooftop a block away from our own houses. I have to pee. Just go in the corner over there. No one can see you. No, I don't want to pee on someone's roof. Here, I have a tissue pack. Go on. Desperate times call. Fine. Okay, but it's disgusting. Maybe it'll wash away some of this bird poop. Now, would you look at the jalopy he's driving? Glamorous. There he is. Dead man walking. It's like fishing. That's it. Gobble up that bait, you turd. Annie, are you mumbling to yourself? Sorry. Look, if you stretch over, you can see that jalopy he's driving. He probably stole it. So, what do we do now? Well, wait to see if he delivers it to anyone. Trace his movements, keep track of it the best way we can. We don't call Michael first? Like, now? No, I'll call him in the morning. Like, I just discovered it missing. But meanwhile, I can trace Pierce's movements, at least for tonight. Let's move back a little, so we can see when he leaves the street area. Right. I guess we really didn't need to bring... Oh, look, there's... Diane. You? You? But how? Roberta. Me too. What? She's the therapist Roberta used for her PTSD when she got back from Iraq. I know that. So we've been seeing the same therapist. Why are you seeing a therapist? Dude, I was shot by that asshole who no one seems to want to arrest. Maybe I got the PTSD too. You don't have PTSD. You've got ADD and BMS. First of all, I do not have ADD and I don't even know what BMS is. Big mouth syndrome. What have you told her about this? Nothing. Bullshit, Lorna. She could be coming up here to kill us right now. What? Our therapist is a contract killer? What? She was hired by Roberta? Are you insane? No. But what is she doing here? Maybe she lives here. It is an apartment building. No, we would have seen her on the block at some point. Maybe she has a friend that lives here. I don't know. I'm going to find out. Oh my god! Annie, look! Look, that guy there. He's got a camera. Where? Right next there, to the doorway, by the bushes. What? Where is he going? He has a camera. Take the picture! Take the picture! Okay, okay. Annie, do you think our therapist is, uh, being entertained? What? You know, with the whore. Stop calling her that. What? I feel sorry for her. Maybe she likes being a whore. You don't know. But that's an ugly word. I think they should reclaim that word. Like black people and the Asians did. Stop it. Just, I have to think. Well, obviously she didn't come to kill us. Okay, okay now we know something new. We have the same therapist? Yes, and Lorna, I know you, and I know you've told her things. Just about you. And I've told her things, nothing major, but still. Okay, well, nothing's led back to her, so I think maybe... She's safe, Annie. She may be the safest person we know that visits whores. Ack. We don't know that. But we know we know something about our therapist. You should go home now. Call Roberta and tell her we got the photos she wanted. Here, take my camera. Where are you going? I need to stay the night in the van. I've got some work to do. And it's better I have all that equipment on hand. What time are you calling Michael? I'll call him around nine-ish. Make it seem real. Look, 
If we're right about this being a whole ruse to keep you out of the house, then Michael's probably back on the island now. Make sure you cover your tracks tonight. Sally will try to contact him when I get home to let him know you're back home, too. That's right. Look, I know it's cold up here, but any chance of you giving me a half-hour head start here? I'll just go down through the roof to the top floor and leave through the back. I don't want to drive my car to where I left the van, and it takes about a half an hour to walk there. Yeah, sure. We've come this far. We don't need Michael catching on to us. Tomorrow, if Michael comes by, don't show up. I'll let you know the coast is clear by pulling the bedroom shade halfway down. I'll look for it. Be careful. We're halfway there. You too. I'm home. Sally? Is that you, hun? We're in here. Yeah, what are you doing? Watching the cats. Dude, this shit never gets old. (laughs) Is that a gumball? No, it's a gobstopper. So how's your steak out? Cold. Do you want some hot tea? Yes, please. Did you catch the blackmailer? Well, we got some pictures of a guy walking away from where Roberta said she thought he'd be. He had a camera with him. I think I left my cell phone in the car. Have you seen it? No, but I'll bet you five whole dollars it's right there in your pocket. Here, let me reach down and get it for you. Aha! Case solved. Five dollars, please. Now you can stay here and keep me warm. Yes. Well, that is money well spent. To learn more about the O-Line Mysteries, please visit www.olinemysteries.com. Our theme music is by Tim Lindeen, and our cast includes Nina Greeley, Tasha Rucker, Colin Cahill, and Beth Hutchins as Lorna Tolleson. Written and produced by Sailor Billings. The O-Line Mysteries is an original work of fiction. Any resemblance between events, locations, or characters herein and real persons living or otherwise, events or locations, is purely coincidental. Yep. Oh, sorry. (laughs) Sorry. I was like, yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. (laughs) What? Born ready. Let's go. This is bullshit. When your heart's on fire, you must realize (laughs) there's something in your eyes. (laughs) This is bullshit. Are you ready? (laughs) (laughs) This is bullshit. Well, you came and you said, I don't know if it makes more sense without taking, but I sent you away, oh Annie, will you thump me and stop me from shaking, and I need you tonight, oh Annie. <laughs>